SUNY Broome has breathed new life into one of the campus's oldest buildings. Work on the Paul and Mary Calise and Mildred Barton Advanced Manufacturing Center began in the summer of 2017. The center is named after Emil Calise's parents. He left $11 million to the school after his death in 2014. The $12.7 million renovation project houses classrooms and laboratories with top-of-the-line technology to prepare students for careers in advanced manufacturing, clean energy, and other growth sectors. SUNY Chancellor Christina Johnson says this type of investment positions SUNY Broom in a great spot going into the future. Advanced manufacturing is the pipeline for new products and processes that fuel our nation's economic growth both in the service and manufacturing sec sectors. Being able to make things is what drives our research and development. It is about the key to innovation and global com competitiveness, is being able to make stuff. This is where stuff's going to get made. SUNY Broom President Kevin Drum once again cited the figure that's been used of 4,000 open jobs in our area. He says the school is better suited now to train people to fill those positions. You can't just walk out of high school anymore and walk into one of those jobs. You've got to have some form of training after high school to do those jobs that pay a good, uh, a good wage today, and, uh, and that's, what we're, uh, that's what we're all about. Some of the building's features include an advanced manufacturing lab with its own computer control room, along with new fermentation and food processing labs. A green energy geothermal system is being used to heat and cool the facility. The building has been opened up for classes since the start of the fall semester.